welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to find the square root of an imperfect square now today i'm going to show you the steps okay and trust me at a point in this video i'll tell you all to take a screenshot with the help of that screenshot you will be able to solve or find square root of any imperfect squares literally in seconds okay your first job your first job is to write this number in terms of some perfect square okay so let that perfect square be what x square plus or minus some value and instead of root we'll put a raised to half okay now what you will do is you will take your x square outside okay and you are still left with what one plus minus n upon x square the whole raised to half now everything is under still a squared bracket now your next job is to take this individual root on both of these products so you will have x square the whole raised to half into 1 plus minus n upon x square the whole raised to half so now i as you all know that this half and the square will cancel so you are just left with what x 1 plus minus n upon x square okay here this half instead of half raised to half we will do multiply it by 1 upon 2 and the final step is nothing but what just multiply this x inside so you will be left with what x plus minus n upon x into 1 upon 2 this is where you should be landing okay now i will show this entire thing with the help of steps and after that explanation i will also show this how to do how to come to this point directly from this step okay so please understand how to do this you can literally do this in your head okay it is so easy now like i said first we will try to write the entire given number in terms of what perfect square so i will write this as nothing but what this is what can i say this is nothing but what 900 minus 12 the whole raised to half okay so this now looks like what 30 square minus 12 the whole raised to half now we'll take the 30 square outside 30 square is taken outside your entire bracket now comes out to be 1 minus 12 upon instead of 30 square let me just write it as 900 okay sorry 900 Okay, everything is still raised to half. Now, individually, let's split this. So, you have 30 square raised to half. Here, you have 1 minus 12 upon 900 raised to half. This comes out to be just 30. One second. This comes out to be just 30 into 1, 1 minus 12 upon 900 into 1 upon 2. Okay, now next job is to take this 30 inside the bracket. So you are now left with what 30 minus 12 into 30 upon 900 into 2. Okay, now things are cancelling. This is 1's, this is 30's, this is 1's, this is 6's, this is 1's and 5's. So now you are just left with entire answer coming out to be 30 minus 1 upon 5. Okay, so this comes out to be 30 minus 0 0.2 that is coming out to be 29.8. That, my dear friends, is the answer for the square root of, that is the answer for square root of triple 8. Okay. Now, please understand, like I told you, you need to remember this thing. 
like from you need to remember this first step and the last step you don't need to do all of these steps all the time now imagine like i said that you can just remember the first step and if you had remembered the last step okay if you had remembered the last step then from this step only you would have come to what what is your x x is nothing but what 30 plus sorry we didn't have a plus here we had a minus minus 12 into 30 upon x square that is what 900 into 2 that my dear friends is the exact step where you should be landing so this is one thing which i want all of you all to remember see this step you start with this step you end at this step okay if you want you can skip the middle layers now let's try and figure out what will be the value okay what will be the value of some other imperfect square using the first and the last step now this is the point in the video i want you all to take a screenshot because from this you will be able to understand where to do how okay just take a screenshot and then i will tell you how to find the square root of another imperfect square now imagine if you had to find the square root of 10,101. So now this is a big number. Now like I said, we were trying to write the first step which is in the form of what? 100 square, this will be 100 square, 10,000 is 100 square, right? 100 square plus n which will be what? 101, the whole raised to half. Okay? Now from here, we'll directly jump to this last step, which is what we'll write this as nothing but 100 plus 101 into 100 upon, sorry, no, not 100 because that is also already considered. So upon 100 into 2. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll cancel this and let's find out. So we'll have what 5.5. So now this answer comes out to be what 100 plus 5.5 upon 100. So your final answer comes out to be 100 plus 0 0.5. Sorry, 0 0.055. So final answer is nothing but what 100.055 is the final value for the square root of 10,101. You saw how easily we could do this. Okay, you just remember, need to remember this step and this step. See, I am not saying that instead you don't need to follow all these. You can follow, okay. These are, these are the hints for people who are appearing for entrances where time is very, very crucial. Please understand these kind of things can literally save you lot and lot of minutes, okay. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.